Hey Breezers, how are you guys? Foodie Beauty is live right now. It is titled Lunch Bees. I think we're talking about Nader again. Um, anyways, I'm gonna check this out. I figure let's go out and watch together and off we go. Lid. So what's going on today, Foodie? What's up? The look on her face. Look. I know you guys care about me. And I and I know you only want me only want what's right for me. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I, I'm amazed that I still have supporters some days. Me too. I don't know how you do. Because of how much I don't do things that I say I'm going to do. But today. That and you're rude to your subscribers. We have to just bees. Isn't no that, salads. Isn't that what we always do? Just bees? Nothing of this nature. Nothing of that salt. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Oh, jeez. Anyways, I have this guy trying to hit on me. Mm-hmm. And he keeps calling me mommy. What? Is that a thing? Because it doesn't turn me on whatsoever. Actually, it turns me off. Uh-huh. You <laughs> mommy. You seem to like it. Mommy, I don't know about that, foodie. No, mommy, don't want you to eat the booty. I don't eat know. I don't know where you these find men these don't people. know what the fuck they're saying. It almost makes me mad. They don't realize how. You got a death wish, boy? Oh, jeez. All right. I swear these men have a death wish. <laughs> Ew. This doesn't work that well. She just rubbed her armpit and smelled it why why if we have any doubt we should probably just shower and wear deodorant that's probably what we should do oh good we're putting deodorant on it's a miracle <laughs> shut the fuck <laughs> boys to foods Oh, God, help him. <laughs> you, Someone told her, it'll block auntie? him immediately. Which romance novel did you collect this guy from? No, it was Mommy. Oh, <laughs> All right, gosh, everything's open for lunch. Me. What am I ordering? All right, I'm coming. Why? Why? Why do I do this to myself morning after morning? I come to this live stream knowing she's going to burp, fart, blow her nose, make phlegm noises. I know this, and still day after day I return. Why? Why? I'm coming, Sam. I gotta get him in chicken stew. We just need to try chicken stew. Oh, gosh. It's way too early for this. <laughs> Is it just me? I'm like, I feel like I should have had two cups of coffee and, like, caffeinated for sure before this. Oh, my gosh. Foodie, put a shirt on. Is this real life? Lovely. There's Sam, at least. Sam's really cute. Hi. I feel so bad he has to walk around piles of things. All right, let's go to real time. We're just a little bit behind. There she is in all her glory. All right. All right. Just move your bed into the kitchen. I mean, at this point, please don't really do that. Babe. Yeah, it's work-related food. Is it? Break the bank. More fridge space. Yes. Hi, Karen. See what's going on in this chat. Oh, VI Peasant asked, I thought yesterday was our last bees in day. You hate talking in a babyish voice? You don't do your taxes? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I closed the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> are pickles vegetables? Hi, Charlotte. Good morning. Okay, what are we going to have to eat? I don't know. Why don't you just go downstairs and make something? 
I love the Impossible Whopper. Someone asked me, yeah, I kind of want another one. Okay, if you get another one, can you promise not to talk about the aftertaste, please? Um, Belle, member for six months, sent her a heart. Your boiler leaked and my kitchen ceiling fell down. Oh my god, Karen. Oh no. I'm sorry. Belle, member for six months. Hi, Belle. Ready, set, rebies. Thank you for being a beezer. 666. I just seen 666. Okay, what am I going to eat? I have no idea. Wendy's? I don't know, foodie. It's early. None of that is going to sound good to me. Why don't you go downstairs and make something? Diner club sandwich with toothpicks holding it all together. <laughs> Hi, Lolo. Yeah, club sandwich. JB. Hi, Danny Pickles. Lolo. Baked Korean. Gotta wait till tomorrow for the workmen. Five guys. I want fast food today. You always Chinese want fast food. food. I feel like having a. I feel like having an impossible whopper. A baked potato. Okay, I think we're gonna break this up into two clips. We will come back once we know what she orders. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a minute. Today is eating, Marioing, watching Love Island, and. Uh, so, how is this any different than any other day? My hairline is metal. <laughs> That's quite the hairline. <laughs> All right, and let's bees. go to real time. <laughs> Pogos or corn dogs? Pogos and meat sauce. Let's dip pogos in sweet. Oh. No, thank you. I think Pogo I'll pass, corn, but you dizzy. enjoy. <laughs> the corn dizzy. Uh, Love Island is playing on Crave, I think. Hmm. I thought I saw it on Peacock. I could be wrong. Get an impossible burger. That's what I want. Homemade pogos. Chocolate frosty. Okay, we'll come the back to your orders. Chino is we'll so come back. Okay, you guys. So it literally took like 20 minutes for her to decide on something. Like we went through every type of food there could possibly be in the world. And then I think she decided on an impossible whopper. So, um, anyways, I'm gonna check this out for a few minutes and I figure let's go ahead and watch together. Oh, we're putting clothes on? Yes, I'm one of those. I pick it off the floor, I smell it, and I why? wear it. Look why? at my butt. Oh my gosh. This is lovely. What do you want, BB Angels of the 10th and 11th? Oh, this is quite the outfit. Um, I know VIP has it said, well, that's a new look. <laughs> it's something. It is something. Wow. Hi, Tian. Hi, Rebbe. I have this crazy idea, Chantal. You should do your laundry, fold your clothes, and then put them away. And then that way you know everything in your drawers are clean. And you don't have to pick things up and smell them. This hat is your favorite? It's cute, huh? Let's see. Let's see what's That's going on in this yuck. chat. Oh, Amanda asked, so is OF over? I saw some channels talking about it, but I am out of the loop. You woke up for a wee? It's 1.30 a.m. Oh my gosh, Lixie. It's hot. Lena asked, would you ever grow out your hair? You just blew your... No, I blew my nose on this shirt. Oh, gosh. Did I really? No, yeah. no, no. Oh. It was the other one. Oh. This one I didn't. I mean, you might have. You blow your nose on all your shirts. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This one. <laughs> have I been on walks? No. I gotta go. 
I gotta go. I lost sight of all my goals. Gotta get on track. And I know, like, it looks like now I'm not gonna do anything. Yeah, pretty much. If we're being honest. I don't know. I think maybe I was just picking the wrong, like, prioritizing the wrong look at my head. <laughs> I look hatched. Prioritizing the wrong things. Like, maybe I should have been prioritizing Jamaica the whole time. Okay, sorry, you guys. It seemed like everything happened at once. A trash truck came into the back alley. 600 dogs started barking. I couldn't concentrate. So let's see what's going on now. The direction right now. And... <sighs> Travel bees. Booty, Wait. something happened that really, really is bothering you. It's obvious. It's so obvious. Coach. You know, and my aunt's wanting to go back to Jamaica to mm -hmm. visit, and I'm going to go, I want to go back, like, I want to go travel somewhere. Mm -hmm. Don't you think you should start getting healthy then? So you can have those opportunities? Really poetic? Where are you going? Foodie, if we're just sitting around... Sad, eating, complaining, raging all day. We're not getting any closer to the goals we want to achieve. It's to, time to start putting in the work. You talk about what you want to do so much. Are you ever actually going to do those things? No, because you don't want to do the work. You don't want to put in the footwork. You don't want to look at yourself and you don't want to make changes. Today could have been a day to start fresh, start new, Start working towards a better life and so we're sitting here ordering fast food. Sad. Find a great Moroccan man. He will treat you like a queen. <laughs> I have a couple that I'm talking to. There's one that's oh, yeah, just right. like Mr. Coffee. Mm -hmm. but he's... And aren't you having problems with Mr. Coffee? So why do you want to date somebody just like him? Like, I think he is married, but he's like, says what? he's separating and blah, blah, blah. No, he's really booty. nice and respectful. No, if he's still married, separated, whatever. No, no, bad idea. Emailed me a picture of himself. That's how fucking old school he is. But. Huh. He's like. <sighs> old school or it's not really his picture. I have no patience for that. I'm just going with the flow with that. Cheers! Aries! Fries! It says fries. It really looks like it says that sometimes. Don't get involved with that. Oh, Bree said, I heard Nader got a community strike. Oh, well, I can in a poetic, really? Karma. Yeah, coffee. I'm just focusing on what I can do for now. Think I'm someone you respect and do what they do. Always looking and comparing their people to other people, their play to other people. I know, Lena. That's what social media does. You're right. People compare each other. You know? Yeah. Traveling doesn't have to include a plane. You can just take your car and go to places you've never been to. True. Yeah. <laughs> it says fries, yeah. I don't trust foodies driving, though. I don't know if I want to encourage her to drive more until she takes care of herself and what she needs to take care of. All right, she got a super chat from that name right there. Your channel is dying. Are you prepared? Ooh, let's go to real time and see if she... Are you prepared? Look. Look. Whatever happens in life, happens. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to fret over things I can't control. So the only thing I can do is keep doing what I do. And that mm -hmm. is turn on the camera and talk until I can't do that anymore. And then after that, I'll decide what to do with my life after at that point. So, yeah, I guess I am. Wow. I wasn't expecting. I'm as prepared as I am for anything. For but see, I don't believe any of that. I don't think you would do well. I don't think you would do well if your channel got deleted again. You crave the attention. You crave for people to tell you you're doing awesome when you know you're not. When you know you're not. I don't think you're prepared for it. Booty, what if your channel is gone tomorrow? Like, could you really go out and get a real job? 
These are things you need to think of. You're not healthy right now. You should start getting prepared just in case. And you know what you could do? You say you want to focus on the things you can control. You can control your like what you can do to get healthy. You can control going to therapy. You can control eating better. You can control going on walks again. That's all in your control. <clears throat> it feels bad, but positives, you have a home over your head, so let's do what we can. But you do have a lot to be grateful for, and I think you focus so much on what you don't have or what you're missing out on. When you have more than, you have so much more than many, you do. You have so much to be grateful for. Be grateful you have a bed to sleep in every night. Be grateful you have a roof over your head. Be grateful that there's people that care about you in this chat. I mean, there's obviously trolls, but there's people who genuinely, I see, that want you to do well. Be grateful for every day that you wake up and open your eyes. If you change your mindset and you find things like to be happy about and grateful for and stop focusing on what you don't have or what you want that you're not getting, focus on the positive and your mindset will change. You'll want to start doing better. You will. <laughs> Ruby. You have total control of your channel and its direction. Hi, Nat T said, OMG, my kids have you on the big screen. Why? Why? Ah. <laughs> How are you? How is the rest of the parade? Dr Love is like drugs. Well, what do you think I should do then, Shan Toddler? What do you think I should do for the direction of my channel? Just put more work into it in general. Put Go back to recorded videos. I like just turning on the camera and just talking to you guys. I think people are ready for change. We're sick of this. It's the same thing every single day. Give us something new to look forward to. Foodie getting healthy. Woohoo. That's what I like to do. No matter what I'm doing in life. You know, going to the store. Just sitting here eating burgers i know but foodie what you're not getting is people don't want to see you sitting there shirtless eating burgers and talking about nader and complaining or raging or tearing somebody's looks down we don't want to see this anymore i'm glad this is what you want to do every day but just don't be surprised that your views are so low Streaming your life is not innovative and necessary. Oh, Sean Toddler said you made fun of Debbie several times. All right, let's go to real time. Here we are. <laughs> My food is coming soon. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so relieved. I was Captain getting worried. Captain is live. All right, you guys, I think we'll check in with her later. Maybe we'll watch a minute or two longer. I'm not really interested in watching her eat, so we could come back after that. Okay, Emily said, it's so hard to plan sometimes. Goals are amazing, but until you just have the absolute want in your body and soul, it's easy to break them. So I guess my advice would be to follow your gut. Oh, what happened? What happened with barbecue chicken and cashew star? I have no idea. Do a food in every spot. Yeah. Oh, I don't think so. Come on, you're getting chicken stew, miss. I'll be right back, guys. Our, oh, you're gosh. Chicken stew, miss. Come on, miss. All right, well, I'm done here. <laughs> I'm done here. I'll come back later. I, I, I hope you guys are having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are. And I will see you so soon. Bye. Oh, jeez.